Hi, I'm Ben Heck, and today on Engineering Newswire, brought to you by Interpower, the premier supplier of power system components for worldwide markets. We're building an internal suspension system for your brain, designing an endoscope as thin as a human hair, and using a worm to go hands-free. Lantos Technologies has created a digital ear scanner. If you are one of the 36 million Americans that have a familiarity with hearing loss, or you utilize in-ear monitors, this new device could make the audible world much more vibrant. As modern technology has advanced, so have hearing aids. But the silicone mold process to represent the ear canal is the same as the one used in the 50s. This 3D scanner negates the silicone process by inserting a small camera into the ear. A flexible membrane surrounding the camera is filled with a specially formulated dye and conforms to the ear canal while the camera captures hundreds of images. The images are then pieced together to create a topographical map of the canal, which is then put into CAD format and is suitable for 3D printing. The data is sent to the hearing aid or monitor manufacturer, and voila, a perfectly customized hearing device through a less invasive process that works better and in less time. Oh yeah, and it's already been FDA approved. Finally, I can get to the bottom of that bizarre echo I always hear. Hello? Anybody there? Silicon Valley tech firms want their workers at work, so they're adding a few workplace perks to recruit and retain top talent and to help spark innovation and creativity. Apple is building a gleaming new ring-shaped space headquarters that will include an auditorium and orchard for its engineers. Google's Bay View campus will feature walkways angled to force accidental encounters, and Facebook's Disney-inspired campus will include a barbecue shack, sushi house, and a bike shop. That's not all. Many of the new headquarters and expansions will not just boast striking architectural designs, but they will also include walls you can draw on, ping pong tables, Lego stations, gaming arcades, and free haircuts while offering yoga, cardio kickboxing, and golf classes with additional discounts to ski resorts and theme parks. Who wouldn't want to go to work? So to all you negative Nancys who believe these perks are a colossal waste of time, do us all a favor and go sit back in your boring corner cubicle and suck some lead paint. According to the Great Place to Work Institute, companies with happy workers consistently outperform sad cube farms in the valley. And now, Ben Heck. Heck yeah! Heck, Heck yeah! Yeah! Endoscope. Endo, meaning inside of you. Scope, something that measures or sees. Typically, we'd like things stuck inside us to be as small as possible. Unless they're hamburgers, of course. So when it comes to endoscopic cameras for medical purposes, the smaller, the better. Thankfully, a team of engineers at Stanford have built an endoscope no thicker than a human hair, which, as you may know, is a standard unit of measurement for all small things when it comes to press releases. It works by sending laser illumination down the fiber through a 45-degree one-way mirror. The light that bounces back reflects off this mirror into a sensor. The light is then descrambled by a computer algorithm to form a complete image. And you thought your cell phone camera was small. Does holding your iPad fatigue your hands? Do you wish you could move about while using your device? Well, look no further and look at eye level. So goes the pitch for the new iWorm, a harness that holds a tablet PC or e-reader in front of you at the best distance and angle for your eyes. The iWorm is the brainchild of Jeffrey Gu, who recently turned a crowdsourcing site Kickstarter to secure funding and to finalize the design for manufacture, begin an initial production run, and find a much needed professional industrial designer. The prototype looks clean compared to the initial concept that he constructed with clay, newspaper, and a little bit of chicken wire. Back the iWorm for $79, and you not only receive a production model from the first run, but you also secure a voting interest in future design features. Goo has only raised $147 of his $18,000 target, but he has secured one heck of a tagline. Stop craning your neck and get out of your seat. Get a worm for your Apple today. Well, as with all great new concepts, the iWorm has already birthed competition in the tablet harness marketplace. Aren't you tired of tablet hands? Order your iChris Fox today and free yourself from tablet tyranny. iPad not included. We all know how important it is to wear a helmet, but how protected is that thinking muscle? During the design process of helmets, a compromise has to be made. 
For a helmet to withstand high-speed impacts, its ability to absorb low-speed impacts is compromised. Though they don't seem as bad, they can still cause concussions and serious brain damage. The ATR-1 helmet from 6D uses a series of elastomer shock absorbers to handle small hits while still providing adequate protection against the big ones. Like its predecessors, the helmet still has an exterior carbon fiber, Kevlar, or fiberglass shell adjoined to a layer of EPS foam. But there's a second foam layer holding the wearer's precious melon. Between the two layers is a scattering of elastomer dampers. These elastomers can squish and stretch in just about any direction, giving impacts a cushier feel. The focal point of traditional helmet design has always been directed at providing protection against linear impact energy test compliance, but less focused on angular impacts that cause twisting and rotational injuries. Because the dampers on the ATR-1 stretch sideways, as well as straight up and down, they take up much of the initial angular acceleration that would otherwise twist the head on impact. According to the company, tests have shown that the ATR-1 can reduce angular acceleration of the head by almost 81% over conventional helmets. And there's no joke here. Do you have story ideas? Comment below and we'll cover them in an upcoming episode. For PD&D TV, I'm Ben Heck, and this has been your Engineering Newswire.